This is uh, um, zoysia. Zoysia. Yeah. Okay. This grass is about it's as tall as my hand. Seven, eight inches. Super long grass. And I'm gonna try it here today. Yes, it is. I was skeptical of it when we first talked about it, but I think it did a good job in the yard. I think the track record of new technologies like that that don't really do what they're projected to do, um, you see that a lot. But uh, I, I, the level of cutting is really good, and also the um, the clippings kind of just it does a really good job with the clippings. I know it's mulching them. But the clippings uh, are really small, so that's something I didn't expect out of the type of equipment that it is. Um, I'm used to running a blade that has a mulching blade on it, but I think I see as little clippings here on the ground as I do with mulching blades. So it does a really good job. Time savings would be huge, um, whether it's my time cutting the grass or um, a hired professional is going to come to cut the grass, um, whether I have to be here or not when it's going on. Um, you know, cutting the grass is not something I mind doing, but because I'm pretty particular about my yard, but it, it definitely takes a big amount of time out of your day. So if you could take that time and use it for other projects you have going on, or even if it's something that can run while I'm not here um, and I don't have to worry about happening uh, in that time zone. So I think that's one of the biggest things. I think the biggest issue is security around the piece of equipment that it's not going to be able to just pick up and carry it away. Um, also protecting the equipment from weather, protecting it from our dogs, uh, wild animals. You know, I see on our security camera a, a feral cat roaming around. So, yeah, I don't know what other kind of wild animals there are around here that could damage something like that, but I want to make sure it's protected, whether it's something burrowing into it or something like that, to prevent it from being damaged. So, uh, from the standpoint of repairs to it, um, I know you would have to replace the blades periodically, um, the tracks on the piece of equipment. I don't know how long they will last, but uh, I know even on my regular lawnmower, I've got a lawnmower that's probably 15 years old. I've had to replace the wheels on it a couple of times. Um, so what's the life cycle of those? And uh, what other what other parts of, uh, of the hardware would need to be 
replaced periodically or repaired? How would you take care of those kinds of things? Um, the availability of those parts, I think, is an important thing. Compared oh yeah, to the... that was one of the great one of the great positives of mm -hmm. what I see is how even the cutting mm -hmm. is. Um, even the, the lawn is not perfectly level. It's got little dips and hillocks throughout the yard, but as it cuts through it, it does not. It goes smoothly through those. It does, it, it's not an uneven cut. So you don't see taller grass in a lower spot. Um, so it does a really good job responding to the terrain that um, my gas powered mower doesn't do. So there's some spots in here where the grass, because there's a low spot, it will run over and it'll either be the grass will be twice as tall or there'll be suddenly a cut where you can see in the grass the cut is half an inch or an inch shorter even because of the unevenness. So I think that's impressive that this piece of equipment can respond to the uh, to the terrain the way it does really well. So I'm excited about it. I think it, it's doing a spectacular job that I've seen it run here um, and uh, looking forward to see it on the market and um, and being able to take the opportunity to use something.